finally back out on the water again and today we've come to a different spot up further to the north. We've had a nice week of Norvalies and that's really flattened off the beaches in Northern Hawke's Bay. So I'm coming to a beach that I've never fished before. Um, there's meant to be a little bit of wind but I'm not too bothered as it's only going to be about 10 knots maximum. Uh, it'll blow us back in anyway with the Northerly so I'm not too bothered. The beach should be nice uh, when we come back in. We found a nice little channel in the main part of the beach so it should be easy. So yeah let's head out see if we can't find a few fish for dinner and maybe a blue cod because that's the target for today. I paddled out about 3 k's and dropped the anchor down onto a patch of sand. I attached my anchor buoy in the event that I hook a big snapper and let it out to float away behind the kayak. I threw down a couple of pieces of bullet tuna on a ledge rig and then began cutting up the rest of the bullet tuna in order to chunk a few pieces out to bring the bigger fish in. The chunks that I do throw out are entirely backbone sending out a very strong scent to large fish. A short while later and I'd hooked up to the first fish. This kahawai had swum around my other rods so he was destined for bait. I was soon on to another fish and I was hoping this one would be a gurnard. That's dinner. Yeah, that's solid. Nice big one. Well, it's all go now. Had three bites in about five minutes. Second one was a gurnard, first one was a kawai. Not sure what this is. I think it might be another really nice gurnard. Be awesome if it was. It's a double, I think. Yep. <laughs> it's a double. It's a double. <laughs> How about that? And uh, on the fish bites as well. So I'm testing out these uh, soft plastic alternatives to bait. And while that can pretty easily say that those have worked. I better get another bait down because uh, they're on the bite. It's important that I spike these fish straight away for optimum eating quality. I also spike them just above the gill which removes any blood from the fillet. It only took another two minutes for the fish bites to have another fish. By this point in the morning, the wind had filled to over 10 knots, probably around 12, and the gurnard were just coming thick and fast. Oh, this is a great day. Oh, that's a big boy too. Might be two more. One big one. <sighs> In between larger fish, a few smaller gurnard will let go to. And the next clip, we find myself in a bit of a dilemma. Two rods hooked up and good fish on both rods. Sometimes a gurnard has to be left on the deck as I reel the second fish in. It was limited bycatch today and yet another gurnard popped up. The 
gurnard fishing was just off the charts on this morning. I couldn't stop hooking them and there was barely any fish between. With so many fish in the bin already, I decided to start letting a few go. I'd hooked up to something with way more pull. Maybe this was the snapper that I was after. Typical protocol for when I hook a big fish is to bring the other rod in to prevent them from tangling. Coda. This barracuda did his best impression of a big snapper. With the bin full of gurnard, I decided to head in close and look for that target species, blue cod. Things were looking good when the first blue cod popped up in short order. I knew this fish probably wouldn't be legal at 33 centimetres, but at about 31, it was a good start. After a few more little reef species, I hooked onto something really good. I was hoping this would be my cod. Unfortunately, it was another kahoa. Could this be it, the blue cod I've been waiting for all day? I got the net ready as it really felt like this could be it. Yes! Finally did it! Nice! Took a little bit of time. Woo! This would be the final fish of the day, and it didn't feel like a very big one. A poor little blue cod was caught on the top hook, and a barracuda had come up behind him and eaten the bottom bait, and was now ragdolling him wildly. Funny how when I always grab the leader, the fish seems to just pop off nice and easy. The lucky little blue cod was dehooked right, and released, hopefully to not get snapped on by another barracuda. I had my blue cod and bin of gurnard, so I decided to pull the anchor and head back for the beach. Once again, I'd like to say a huge thanks to Reese over on Patreon for subbing at the Snapper tier of supporters. You're an absolute legend once again, mate. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support more, head over to the Patreon where you can support on three different tiers. Kahawai, Snapper and Kingfish. Thanks everyone for watching, and I hope to see you back out on the salt soon.